Hey y'all, welcome back to Bench War Bats. Got a brand new video for you guys today. Once again, I'm doing another initial review, so this is just gonna be a T Swings video. But huge, huge, huge shout out to Tommy Wilson. This guy was so kind enough to send me the brand new Anarchy 22 a day. This is a Chris Larson tribute bat. This is the second bat release under their brand new Hyper X360 tech. So that's the same tech which they had their first bat released under, which was the Crusher. So I'm gonna put some swings on this baby. He told me to uh, review it and get it broken in for him. So we're gonna start off fresh out the wrapper, get some swings off the tee on this, and I'm gonna keep swinging away. Hopefully come back to another uh, second part of the review with some live pitching. Get my boy Bloomer. Bloomer, if you're watching this, we gotta get together. We gotta swing this thing. Now this is a 26 ounce. This is a half ounce end load. This is a 27 ounce with a half ounce end load. Uh, interesting facts. So these come in 25, 26, 27. We will be hitting the Evil BP 52 pluses and the Tattoo X3 spinners, both 52 core balls. Quickly, I apologize. I am on a military base. It is a duty day. We have jets here. So for my headphone wearers, uh, I apologize for bursting your eardrums when a jet flies by. Now this tech, unlike the X-Core, is for LC only, 52-300 balls only. Woo! There's that sound. Okay. Okay. Now what that means, guys, is uh, you also gotta watch the temperatures when you swing these. So anything probably below 55, 50 degrees, you're pushing it. the bat just like a monster oh there we go Woo. like I said I gotta thank Tommy again man Tommy Wilson thank you so much for sending this to me just wish you sent me a 27 <laughs> I can't complain beggars can't be choosers right I got a bat to review didn't cost me nothing I like it. First 30 swings down with the brand new 22 a day. Um, something I noticed, I'll call it a minor annoyance. I noticed this with my crusher and I'm noticing this with the 22 a day as well. It's an annoyance to me, I do a pro to sub, but the weight sticker on the bottom of the knob here, it's starting to lift up. Like I could peel it off super easy if I wanted to. So for you guys who like to put your custom stickers on here, then I guess it's a good thing. But if you're someone like me and likes to keep the bat, you know, looking as good as possible, it's kind of annoying. So, Eric, you use better glue, I guess. Take like five more cuts and then I'll do some of the crusher as well, just to kind of see.
that's kind of the crusher sound I'm used to hearing. That uh, smack, loud smack. The crusher, a few whacks here. It's been a while since I swung this thing. Woo! Alright, this definitely feels um, softer, but not as soft as when it initially was out of wrapper. Uh, now this is interesting, this, is, this has started off firmer than the Crusher did. I like that sound right there. That's like nice, pure, clack, not clacky. Uh, nice, crisp sound right there. The initial review on the brand new 22 day uh, Chris Larson tribute bat RIP to Chris Larson. So, first thoughts here um, this felt like a regular X core to me, fresh out the wrapper within those first 15 swings. I would say, uh, very, very stiff, um, you could definitely tell. But after swing 15, the barrel started to soften up a little bit, the sound started to change a little bit, and it started to feel pretty good. It started to remind me of the crusher. So I've put about 50 swings on this now, and uh, so far I'm liking it a lot. This HyperX Tech, I like it, I'm a fan of it. Uh, definitely would choose it over the comparable, uh, which would be a Monster. So x Core would be my number one. So this new HyperX Tech would be second. The Monster would be third. Monster uh, Torch Juice, Black Sheep Juice specifically. Hopefully this, I'll wait till the jet passes, it might pass on. This, I would say this is game ready uh, after the 15 swings, man. So like you get this, take the wrapper off, do like 15 BP cuts, um, and then swing in a game. I feel like it performs well enough to be used in a game. Now, is it like the hottest thing ever right away? No, I, I hate I hate using that terminology. Hot is a bat hot, so I, I won't use that. But um, I would feel comfortable enough if I had this in a 27 ounce. I would go take 15, 20 cuts BP, and then I would feel comfortable enough game. And once again, big shout out to Tommy Wilson. Thank you so much for sending me this to review. I'm gonna put more swings on it. We'll come back to the second part of the video and I'll keep breaking it in for you. Also I wanna give a shout out. I'm wearing these sweet gloves. They're from The Bomb Sports, Johnny Dykes. First time I've worn these and I was swinging a bat without a knob cuff. And as you can see, there's no paint residue on this. There's no tears in this. This held up amazingly. These are great. Uh, I would definitely recommend uh, they're cheaper than Bruce Bolts. They're kind of similar to that with the leather and stuff. These are $40. So go check out the Bomb Sports on Facebook. Shout out Johnny Dykes. These are cool, man. The logo's sick, bro. Uh, definitely got to get some different colors. So appreciate you. As always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Catch y'all next time.